Well, it's an American success story. A multi-million dollar business started with just $200. Glass stream boats are made right here in the Panhandle. But the competition to be the home of the business is coming in faster than their speed boats. News 13's Andrew Ruiz explains why the company could be setting sail to a new destination. And tonight's Made in the Panhandle report. Andrew. Jerry, location, location, location. It's a major selling point in real estate and it's becoming the biggest factor for manufacturers. Companies like Glassstream are shopping around for the complete package, incentive, skilled workers, and less regulation. For some of the world's greatest secret agents, the goal is to go undetected. If you see one of our boats, you'll know it. Meaning that Ethan Hunt and James Bond won't be buying one of these babies anytime soon. Um, we stand out from the crowd. That's the way Cruz Rutherford likes it. She's one of the masterminds behind this speedboat. She's the president of Glassstream, a Panama City boat manufacturer. My father used to race boats, so I was always drawn to it, intrigued by it, and had an opportunity to get, to get in the boat business. Rutherford developed the affordable dream with her partner and CEO, A.L. Kirkland. Started Glassstream actually with 200 bucks in 79. Since then, the team has constantly looked for ways to reinvent themselves. Boats designed five years ago are already outdated. Good enough's not good enough. With 30 employees, Glassstream builds their boats from scratch. In-house, they mold the shells, apply a special gel coat, mount its outer core, and finish it off with graphics and specialized technology. The best part of our boat is usually the part you don't see. Because of their quality and success in the 80s, the company grew to be the largest independent boat manufacturer in the country and netted approximately $117 million. After a 16-year hiatus from the business, Glassstream returned to Panama City in 1996. And while the economy was declining nationwide, here at Glassstream work was doubling. In fact, they need a bigger facility to be able to meet the demands of their customers. We need to continue on that path. Um, the market share is available now. In order to expand, Rutherford says they need skilled workers, a workforce she says doesn't exist here. We want Glassstream to stay here. Neil Wade, the executive director of the Bay County Economic Development Alliance, says he's competing against other states. Having worked in Alabama in economic development, I know that uh, we have the incentive dollars, and Mississippi and Georgia and others have it dollars to put on it or did have. But I think right now, Florida is much more competitive from an incentive standpoint. To get away from the beach is going to be a tough deal for me, um, but it's, it's something that we're going to have to take a hard look at. Just as Glassstream thrives off the attention, so does the Panhandle. They fit here. This is the kind of company that you, that's been here and you want to keep here. And if they left, it would certainly create waves. Like their boats, Glassstream's departure wouldn't go undetected. Even though Glassstream is an existing company, if they expand, add employees, and or move to certain locations within Bay County, they could get economic incentives from the EDA and the state.